Okay, now let's look at the other one, the, the other dish. Let me boil the water and I'm going to make the dough for the bread. The potatoes already been boiled and I've already done two portions of this dough. Usually if you do the dough, you leave it around about an hour or so. So it is soft and nice. Now for the potatoes, you peel the skin. Russet potatoes are ideal for doing breads eh, like this because it is soft and fluffy. But potatoes, if you boil it and it's still hot, eh, it's very easy to mash it through a, a wire mesh sieve. You need lukewarm water, 100 ml of water. Okay, because the potatoes are already, uh, I would say, cold, eh? it may be a bit difficult to mash, so I just put it in to heat it up. So that will be easier for me to mash afterwards. If you put it in a blender, you know why I didn't want to put it in a blender? Then it gets very mushy. So if you put it through here, it's easier. But then the potatoes must be hot. Any seed that has got holes this big, eh? can you see? Not too fine holes. If it's too fine, you cannot mash it through. It should have holes like this. Okay, so if you have got a sieve, eh? it's very easy. Just press it through. So you see, eh? can you see it now? If you uh, mash it through a seed, it goes down like that. Can you see it coming out? Alright, so that's how you mash it through. Eh? It's really fine. Okay, so here we have got atafla. You know atafla? Wholemeal flour actually. Okay, my deep warm water I think has become cold. Eh? You can still use the water from here because it's actually uh, water from the potatoes. It is clean water. Okay, water should be fine. It should be lukewarm water. Add a bit of salt and pepper for taste. Corn oil preferably, one tablespoon. So now we add in the mashed potatoes. So mix it around. As you mix, make sure it is evenly spread out like this. Eh? Like bread crumbs, then your lukewarm water. As lukewarm water goes in, eh, you mix in well. Mix it in until it becomes a soft dough. The dough can be made eh, an hour before. You see, it's binding well into a ball of soft dough. Okay, pick up the pieces that are around, you see. Eh? Alright, so it is coming into a soft ball of dough now. So here you are, this soft ball of dough. Eh? Soft enough. Alright, okay. So here are the balls of dough. Huh? These two, I've done it earlier. I heat up the oil. Huh? Halfway through, you can add oil again. Huh? Otherwise, it'll be too hot. You see, after about one hour plus, the texture is like this. If you pinch it, it is as soft as the, you know, your earlobe. The texture of it should be like your earlobe. Huh? So what I normally do is I roll up into a roll then cut into half, then if they are tender from there, half, half, five, five, okay? That's very easy to gauge, yeah? Okay, for every piece you roll into a ball, make sure your hands are already dusted with flour. With the palm of your hand, just press it out into a round. Then you use a rolling pin and roll it out. Just a little flour on your rolling pin. As you roll up, it will turn out into a round circle. The thinner it is, when you fr uh, fry it, the more it will fluff up. So in case you feel that it is too much flour, just flick it through so that excess flour will be shaken off. So halfway through, if you feel that you see you can smoke it hot, huh? add in more oil. This has been used only one time. Huh? I do it about two times and I throw it away. Now, if it is thin enough, so you put it in, you see it coming up. Beautiful, fluffs up. Woo! Beautiful? Yeah. Just like that. Mm. Alright, okay.